everyone and welcome to August and um, before I start I just want to say thank you very much to all the new subscribers and um, all the lovely people who have commented and liked videos and shared them. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. This is quite a new thing for me to be doing so it's quite small um, at the moment so I really appreciated that extra boost to begin with. So, um, And I know that some of you are hoping to get readings so I'm going to do the draw to get do the free readings thing to see who wins um, in just a minute. Uh, but I just want to say I might not be doing this again immediately, but I am thinking of doing it quite regularly. So we'll see when I get around to doing it again. But um, thank you so much for taking part and please keep commenting and liking and, and um, participating because it all helps and it just keeps that nice flow of reciprocity going, you know, give and take, which is really, really lovely with these things. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to just go straight into this now and just let you know that I had a look at the videos and if you weren't expecting or hoping for reading, you can go past this bit. So the sign that, did, uh, that gave the most likes was Virgo and the sign that gave the most comments was Libra. So I've picked, I uh, had a look under the videos and there was only one person who asked for a reading under the Virgo uh, video and that's Tara Mills. So there's, you know, it's just you Tara and you've won a reading. So contact me please using, uh, you can use the link under the video and then go to my website and use the contacts page there. And um, so we've got Libras. I've picked the names of the people who asked for readings from Libra. And I'm going to just pick one of those. You can see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, Spirit, you guide me. Okay, here. Right. So we've got, I knew it was going to be that one. That's right. It's Sawenika Reed. Okay, so Sawenika, can you please get in touch with me and. Um, we'll um, sort out a, t uh, a reading, just get some questions from you, that's all you need to do is to just contact me, let me know it's you and uh, I'll get some questions from you and record your reading for you and it will be posted up on the channel soon. Okay, so um, welcome to August everyone. Uh, July was a very interesting month, <laughs> as they all are at the moment. I hope you enjoy your reading, I'm going to get straight to it now. Thanks for watching, bye. Hello lovely Leo and welcome to August. It's going to be a really incredible month. It's going to be a very exciting one. We've got um, the sun in your sign. This is your month. As you know, this is your time to shine. This is your time to just pull out all the stops, get out into the world and just, you know, let them see what you've got. Let them see who you are and just shine, shine, shine and lead the way. So you also have that solar eclipse, that new moon solar eclipse in your sign. So it's going to be a really powerful time for you to get very clear about who you are, how you want to be in the world, how you want to present yourself, um, how you want to present your ideas, how you want to be thought of, even how you look, how you carry yourself, how you express yourself. This is all up for a big change you know you might find yourself wanting to um, you know make all sorts of changes about how you present yourself and um, and who you are in the world it's going to be very very exciting and you're going to need to step into the new completely so if there are any Leos who have been holding back at all your sign isn't a sign that is meant to be holding back it's a sign that's very much meant to be out there shining like the sun and sort of spreading those rays around. So this is what you're going to get from this eclipse, that there's going to be something very important for you that gives you an opportunity to step out. Of course, it needs to be your creation. So if you're there sort of sitting and thinking, oh, I'm not doing anything, I'm not going anywhere. Remember, this is just a guide to help you, to support you and to give you something that will, that will you know, assist you in moving forward on the path that you already know is right. It's not a predictive, you know, it's not a fix, it's not a, a cure-all, it's, it's to help and guide you. Okay, so how is Leo going to go ahead 
in this month from the end of July to the end of August while the sun is shining on their sign and this eclipse is asking them to change what they've been doing. Well, change anything that needs to change that's going to help you to move forward. Okay, so we've got past, present, future. Too many cards to look at. Okay, so I'll turn that one over in a minute. Advice, outcome. Right, so we've got Angel of Support. The universe has heard your silent call for help. So that's wonderful. So Leo, you've had a lot of help. You've had a lot of assistance from the angels. You've had a lot of, thankfully, you've known how to tune in. You've known how to connect. And because you've had that Leo confidence of just knowing that things are going to be okay, you've been able to uh, get answers that you need, you've been able to really, and in fact, you've just come out of this period as well, where you've had all the attention, all the energy on your 12th house. Um, just put my timer on. So you've had all that energy in the 12th house, so it's been really about going deep inside and, you know, asking yourself some of the big questions, maybe doing some inner work that will help you to move into this next period because it's all very sequential and, you know, relying on your faith, um, connecting as well with a deep spirituality and releasing karma and any of the things that have stopped you in the past. So you've had a lot of support with this and so this has been the preparation that you've needed to get into. Um, where you're going at the moment so it's always that little bit of a, a you know it's like you're behind the curtain waiting like all the preparation or the rehearsal period I'm using those um, performing metaphors probably because it's Leo and a lot of Leos are kind of out there center stage so now you step out onto the stage and you've got in your present situation You've got time to look at how you value yourself, issues of self-love. So the card is also, um, it's angel of soul love. And I do feel that for some Leos, I feel that there is going to be a period of really becoming um, connected with. If something in a relationship was, at, you know, you were questioning things at all, um, I feel that your, some of your soul searching has also been about this and that you've come to a place of real appreciation and of deep soul connection, a sense of deep soul, a, a sense of like, I really see what this has brought to my life. I really see the value of this. I know not all Leos are going to be in the same situation. So those who are on the cusp of making changes in a relationship, for you, it is going to be about self-love. It's going to be about loving yourself. But remember, Leo is very much a sign of love, of coming into the heart. So more than ever, if something isn't true for you, then you are really, really going to be feeling it. And if it is, you are really, really, really going to be feeling it. So for a lot of connected Leos, there's going to be a time of real appreciation of your significant other, of real love and bonding and closeness. And for some Leos, there's going to be a distraction to something else that seems um, more ideal. You're going to be very much led by your heart, in other words, very much um, led by a, a sense of wanting to, to be really, really true to yourself. There's no question about it. And where it will inevitably bring you and where you are probably right now thinking, your thinking is all about true love, creative expression, being me, completely me, okay? That deep soul love sometimes does come just from being immersed in a deep, deep sense of who we are and just being able to celebrate that. So I love that. So wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time for you, Leos, if you can embrace that. And, you know, if things aren't so great for you at the moment, that's the energy that you need to, to tap into. If you've lost your way with something creative or if you've lost your vision um, in terms of what really lights you up, get connected with it again. 
Also for some Leos, I feel you're going to have people around you and that's going to be the way that you can reconnect with love. Reconnecting with love is going to be a big thing for you. So having a party or having, you know, obviously it's your birthday time, so that's more, more than likely. But it could be really important for you as a shift point as well because of this eclipse it's going to be you know maybe you've come through a time when you weren't so sociable or there were lots of ups and downs and now you're going to be saying right I want to get back to the old me I want to get back to you know real sparkly dazzling sunshiny gleaming Leo again and so I'm going to have this gathering or this party or I'm going to just go out and, and just you know feel my heart feel in my heart again and get back to love that way so there that's where you are kind of around that period now the future moving into the next period great a steady flow of abundance is about to manifest and I'm just looking at the the oranges and the yellows and the pinks and that is such a Leo looking card and what it's basically saying which you know more than anyone Leo is that when you follow your heart and do what you really really love and just follow your passions that abundance does come in so it will take away any concerns that you might have had and obviously you know it's not just going to happen by itself you're going to need to be creating it you're going to need to be um, manifesting it and doing the practical things that you need to be doing to make it happen but what it's saying is that as long as this is aligned with what you love you're going to be okay you're going to see what the result that you're hoping for um, from now and going into the future. So, for you to manifest, now I'm going to put a link to my manifesting meditation. Hopefully I'll remember, if I don't, please find it. What you need to be manifesting in this new moon solar eclipse really is that. Manifesting joy, love, creativity and abundance that comes from that, okay? I'm sure you've got a nice clear idea of that because, you know, it's your time and this period that you've had of preparation was the time before your time so you should be of all people now Leo's should be really really clear about where they're going okay so the advice card from the universe angel of prayer and it says ask the universe and the angels for help and guidance so if there's anything at all that you need help with um, Leo, if you're not sure about the direction or if you want to tweak some things about the direction or if you want more of a solid plan for the direction or if you need more uh, people coming to help you with it, whatever the plan is, ask, pray for that help. You know, go deep inside again, but this time not just with a, a view to preparing everything or, you know, preparing yourself. You've, because also that's a time of really um, amping up your spiritual practice. So if you really, really want to um, use, make use of the period that you've just come out of, use that to continue to funnel that energy into prayer so that when you do move forward with these new whatever this dream this vision is these new projects new ideas i'm hearing projects ideas dreams plans schemes you know so for some leos it's going to be more than one thing it's going to be like yeah there's this and then there's this and i could try this and i could try that like a steady stream of ideas for you and you're going to need you're going to need the energy to do it but that's going to be easy for you because you're going to be on fire with it so but you might need to just get into a regular prayer routine with just asking you know just talk to God talk to the angels and just ask you know just say you know okay this is where we are now with it and as you can see <laughs> it would be quite nice if this this and this happened at this stage and I know you're there for me I know you're helping me with this because I can feel it in my heart so can we have a little bit of this and thank you I'm so grateful you know all of that lovely stuff okay outcome angel of manifestation <laughs> it's just ridiculous isn't it so okay and it says your efforts determination and perseverance have paid off so that's what you will be manifesting okay we're jumping ahead a little bit here but um that's where you're going so leo have faith in what you're doing totally keep moving ahead with it it's going to be great you're going to be fine but remember prayer remember to figure in the prayer that feels really important and when you're uh, manifesting, um, you know, oh, I mean, it's all there, isn't it? So go ahead, check out my manifesting video if that will help you to visualize, to get the pictures really clear and do that regularly, come back to it and just stay on point is what I've just heard. 
Stay focused, keep in your mind, in the front of your mind, only what you want to manifest. Don't let any of the distractions pull you off course or bring you into a different kind of energy, okay? Don't allow that at the moment because it's a really important time for you. And the only thing that you're going to be uh, being asked to change by this eclipse is that, that approach of just staying in the sunshine, just staying in there and not being distracted or pulled back by um, any of those external factors or possibilities, okay? Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, get pulled into your own society, is what I'm hearing, your own sense of what's right for you. So, um, that went really quickly, actually. I might have started the timer a bit late, so I'm going to just, um, I'm going to shuffle again, and I'm going to pick one more card for you, because we haven't moved out, we haven't used up all the time. I haven't used these today yet, but I'm going to pick the card from the John Holland Psychic Tarot. And I'm just asking, is there one final message that will help Leo to get really clear about what they need to be manifesting? There we go. Healing. Healing in the heart. Okay, Leo. Right. Okay, I get it. Okay. All right, so it looks as if there's been some kind of emotional loss or a parting for a lot of Leos, something that just feels, you know, or you could just be missing people that you're away from. There's something that's making you feel a little bit like, oh my goodness, you know, do I need to, what do I need to do? What do I need to, do I need to fall into that energy more? There's a little bit of sadness. There's a little bit of temptations pointing you in other directions, but you have to move forward now. You have to move forward because, you know, this is these hands, all these temptations, you know, I was saying about not getting pulled into any other energy apart from what's directly in front of you. You've got to be moving away from that. And um, that's a shadow side as well, where you can kind of um, get a little bit drawn in sometimes. Let's see if there's one more card there. Oh, throat chakra. And it was coming out inverted. So, um, Make sure you express yourself, say what you really feel, but not only that, trust that you have the right to complete self-expression, okay? Complete self-expression with all of this creativity that you've got going on. Awareness, okay, that's perfect, lovely. I feel as if we've sort of started to do a whole other spread, but obviously it was something that was necessary because sometimes it's all very well to say manifest and use affirmations and believe in yourself and be creative, but it's good to look at some of the things that are kind of getting you out of that place. And the key to all of this is going to be for you to develop awareness of exactly what it is that trips you up. I love it that you've got this extra reading because it is your birthday month, so I think that's absolutely fine. And I'm just sort of waffling on because... That reading went by rapidly and you haven't had the full time. But having said that, I'm just going to pull one more card. Yeah, perfect. This is a perfect, perfect, perfect reading because it's not just about what you've got lined up. It's about what could get in the way and how to heal it. So express yourself, Leo. If you've got some clearing to do, to do with emotional loss in the past, or any kind of sadness or grief that sometimes you get worried again or you get drawn back to, try to move on from that and try not to have it bring you into your shadow side, which is that things are not going to work out this time or something always goes wrong or any of that kind of thinking. Use your awareness and really express yourself. Trust yourself to express yourself in the truest way possible. Use your awareness to get clear about what it is that stops you from expressing yourself and just move it to one side. That's the change that's got to happen, to stay in the sunshine and then you will get a complete transformation. Okay, that's it. Fantastic reading for you on so many levels and I hope you have a fantastic month and happy birthday and um, I'll see you in September. Bye.